Hi, Deborah Jane here, and today is the day that I need to make some dishwasher tablets for my household. For those of the, you who have been following me for quite a while, you know, will know that every couple of months I throw up something on my Facebook page about the dishwasher tablets. I am a bit obsessed. For two reasons, instead of paying 40, 50, 60 cents per tablet from the store, these cost me around 12 or 13 cents per tablet. The other reason is that when I used to buy my um, tablets from the store, I read the box and it said, do not touch your skin with them. So I figured that something that I can't touch my skin with should not be um, washing my dinner plates. So I've started to go the health, healthy option. So it's quite easy to make the dishwasher tablets. I have a cup uh, and I've got a, as you can see, a bowl here, a cup of um, bicarb soda, quarter of a cup of citric acid and one tablespoon of the doTERRA cleaning concentrate and then one, two, three, four, five and one for good measure drops of grapefruit essential oil from doTERRA as well of course. Okay so it sort of um, fizzes up in the bowl and I'm just, it's because everything's too white, you can see it's starting to fizz and uh, as it reacts to with each other. And you've got to keep stirring it until it sort of all sticks together in a big blob. So now it's a bit like fairy floss. And I'm going to just keep stirring it. Until it sort of all goes in together and sticks together. And it's starting to do that now. So instead of being fluffy and fizzy, it's starting to come into a, a clump together. So that hasn't been that long at all. So if I just show you once it's all come together. Oh, it's not all of it is, but there's no more fizz there. So once we've all done that and it's all scrape the bowl so I can get every little bit. Once we've done that, oh that's really sticking now, great. The next thing we do is we put it in a silicon, silicon mould. Now I'm looking around to um, get some silicon moulds that are uh, the size of ice blocks because that's quite a good size but I've made the, them before many times with this silicon mould. This is uh, a uh, small muffin tin. So what I will do is I'll just spoon some in the moulds and I don't need to make them as high as what you would do if you were making cakes or um, mini muffins. So I'm just sort of filling it up about halfway. And I'll just show you. I have started to do them halfway, but you notice the first couple are fizzing up to the tops. And that's normal. They do fizz. And what I do is I just keep pressing them down. 
so that the um, the consistency is thick in each tablet. I have seen a lady sort of let them go up to the top and stay a bit fizzy. Um, that she's got in a video online, but um, I like to just press mine down as firmly as I can. I'll give you a good idea of what it looks like um, when I've done them all. Now I tried to do these in plastic ice cube trays and they kept crumbling and I just learnt recently that's because you need to have silicon and uh, so that's a good lesson to learn so make sure you use silicon moulds. I know no one's meant to use plastic anymore because it's uh, a lot of it's not good for us, but one day I'll get there. Okay, so you'll see, okay, I'll push these ones down and I should be able to show you what I mean by this fizz. So the bottom ones I've put, pushed all the way down and you can see some of the top ones are rising up and fizzing. But that's okay. I just want the consistency for a dishwasher tablet to be quite firm, not fluffy. And I know that doing using this by just pressing it down, you get a better dishwasher tablet. Now I'll use that next lot of moulds as well. I've got a spare lot. And what I'll do too is, as they fizz, I'll take some off the top and fill it in. Fill it into the other moulds as they as they fizz. So longer than I thought. It's a seven minute video but I did a bit of chatting. Sent my husband out to do his job in the rain this morning. Sometimes I help him but the weather is um, so bad today that I, I couldn't do it. Stay indoors. Show you how these others have fizzed while I've been doing that. See how they've all gone over? Can you see that? You can see that one. See how it's risen up? So I left, just push it down with the spoon and um, just slice a little bit off and put it into another, another mold. But I just pack, pack them as tightly as I can. Now, if by chance your silicon mould makes a dishwasher tablet that doesn't fit into your space in the dishwasher, it's e easy. Just break a couple of bits off, shove it in, and uh, you can um, put two pieces in, two small pieces in to make a, a big one. We also, when I had the crumbling problem with using the ice trays, basically, I don't know if my husband's still got the, just hold on, I'll just see if I can find it. Oh, yeah. So we just used it as a powder with a, a spoon in the jar and he's been using that for the last lot. So it was a bit of a fail with the crumbling, but works. It still works a treat. Now, as far with the um, 
the liquid in your dishwasher to rinse your glasses and your stainless steel and everything you can use vinegar you don't have to use that do stuff so give that a go okay so they're all done now they have to be in the molds for four hours and uh, then I um, just pull them out and put them into that jar there so I might uh, uh, post a photo um, of what they look like um, later on after when I'm pulling them out so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, give them a go it's uh, it, it doesn't cost a lot and it's only 10 minutes of your time and uh, yeah, a much better option for you health-wise. See you later. Bye.